group as possible. And uh, a lot of riders will have felt the pinch a little bit. Wasart going south. It's a, it's a fairly constant uh, gradient here, so it's just the sheer relentlessness. It's not any particular section, and Remco's gone. So Knox goes, and then Remco goes. It has to be. There's no other way to play it. And Remco Avonaball has to try and thin this one out. He's looking a little bit vulnerable to attacks from other teams. So why not go on the attack yourself? See who can follow. See who's capable of getting involved. And that's uh, the Waterloo, really, for Stefan Kuhn. And that extra injection of pace means that he's uh, going backwards and going out of the other jersey, as was anticipated. But he's certainly honouring the, the jersey with his efforts today, isn't he? It's uh, wonderful and impressive. See the guns making their presence felt. Skelmus that uh, is just trying to make his way up onto the wheel. Opening salvo fired by the pre event favourite. Remco Evan Paul has struck out for glory here. Scal as well, the Austrian rider for the uh, AG War squad has also managed to join up with this one. They're not necessarily the names we were expecting. Roman Bardet behind is uh, happy enough. And that's a bit of disappointment for Max Schachmann fans. Not quite able to follow the, the tempo and follow the pace here. Magnus Sheffield as well. Started the day fourth overall. After some great results in the Tour of Hungary and the Tour of uh, Norway, well, this is different level and different uh, different scale of ability on the mountains. I'll tell you what, Remco Evenepoel tapping out a really solid rhythm here is putting more time into the group behind. And where are the other uh, big names that we're expecting? Ayuso. Roman Bardet. What can he and others do about uh, closing this one down? You wonder for the UAE Team Emirates squad, have they got the numbers in there? Have they got the likes of uh, Jay Vine? Well, here she did a great job setting a tempo into the bottom of the climb. And, of course, the Umbo Visma squad. Wilco Kelderman tends to play a canny game. Kelderman somewhat short of able lieutenants, and that could well be impacting the uh, the way this climb is being ridden at the, ridden at the moment. Oh, it looks as if Ben Tullett is starting to feel the pinch a little bit as well. The British rider for the Ineos Grenadiers squad, after his heroic performances and uh, recent success in Norway.